Hello everyone, my name is Emma Cahill and today I'm going to read for you one of my children's books, Under the Mask. I wrote this book because I know how difficult it can be to feel angry, sad and worried. And I too have been overwhelmed by these strong, strong emotions. In this book, it talks about a little boy called Ollie who meets three superheroes who give him some helpful tips and teach him some superpowers that he can use to overcome and to feel better when he feels these strong, strong emotions. You too have these superpowers and we're going to have a look at them today. First of all, let's meet Ollie. Ollie is tall and thin with rosy cheeks. He's nine turning 10 in a couple of weeks. He loves water fights with the garden hose and laughing until milk comes out of his nose. You can see his tonsils when he starts to giggle and his toothy smile is a big red squiggle. But lately, Ollie's not such a happy guy. He feels different and heavier, but doesn't know why. Ollie then decides to go and visit three superheroes. The superheroes remind him that everybody feels these emotions and everybody has these feelings. The important thing is to deal with them in a safe way. So now we're going to meet Blaze, Russell and Crash. I'm a pretty strong girl. I've got my superhero suit. I want to seem grown up and tough like Grandad's leather boot. But I often feel quite angry, like a balloon about to pop. I feel my blood makes bubbles and they rise up to the top. My muscles feel much stronger and my hands curl up so tight. I need to shout and get it out. I'm ready for a fight. I slam the doors. I clench my fists. My face feels hot like fire. When people tell me to calm down, the bubbles just rise higher. Blaze remembers that she has special superpowers to help her when she feels like this. Blaze says, I pay attention to my breathing Breathe in and out for five. I bounce or jump or dance or shake and move and jive. When I'm feeling calmer, I brainstorm how I feel. I search for words to express myself and find safer ways to deal. Anger can be important too. It helps us stay headstrong. It helps us to see unfairness or help us write what's wrong. I'm a pretty confident guy. I've got my superhero gear. I want to seem so brave and fierce whenever I sense fear. But I often feel quite worried, like there's butterflies in my chest. It makes me feel quite queasy and I cannot do my best. My tummy starts to flutter. My throat feels blocked by worry. Everything seems much harder and my breathing seems to hurry. I feel myself start trembling and then I start to shake. It's like I'm in a nightmare, but yet I cannot wake. It's like a drum that's beating fast between my bones. It's all that I can think about, so many big unknowns. But then Russell remembers that he has superpowers that he can use to help that big uncomfortable feeling feel a little bit smaller. Russell says, I rethink why I'm worried. Is there really lots to fear? I reply, I say, no, that's not true. That's what worry needs to hear. I relax by breathing deeply and using music, art and sport. And I talk to someone close to me for comfort and support. Worry can be important too. It can keep us out of harm. It can warn us about danger, like a siren or alarm. I'm a pretty happy guy. I've got my superhero grin. I almost seem as happy as when Santa Claus drops in. But I often feel quite sad, like my body's filled with bricks. I want to be alone when there's a sadness I can't fix. My head becomes all fuzzy and my lip begins to quiver. It's difficult to speak and my tears flow like a river. I've forgotten how to smile. 
All I can do is weep. My energy is gone and I just want to go to sleep. Nothing makes me happy now. I'm never bright or cheery. I've stopped playing with my friends because I'm just tired, quiet and teary. But then Crash remembers he's got some superpowers that he can use whenever he needs them. Crash says, I chat with someone close to me and share what's going on. I create something new for me, like a painting, dance or song. I change what's in my control and wave goodbye to the past. I keep saying, this will pass. Remember, sadness doesn't last. Sadness can be important too, as it tells us we're in pain. It tells us to change something so that it doesn't happen again. If it's difficult to smile and you always feel alone, or if you feel like you are carrying all your problems on your own, just know that you are never in this world without a friend. There's always someone to help bring your sadness to an end. Talk to an adult that you trust and do not fear. Be honest about what's going on and let them lend an ear. Together you can find a way to bring the sun back out, to help you see the light and let them hear you shout. You'll feel like you again, you know. Feelings do not last. You just need to have some patience, as this may not happen fast. It might take time to gain control until the feeling clears. But you have strength to overcome your sadness and your fears. Your future holds new friends, delicious cakes and super games. You'll light this world up and shine so bright it might go up in flame. I hope you enjoyed listening to a little piece of the story of Under the Mask and meeting our three superheroes, Blaze, Russell and Crash. I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you all for listening.